So this is a match I just played. Uh, let's look at this guy's army while we still can. Okay. So here's his army. Level 4 Imperial Infantry, 2 of those. Level 1 Tosa Riflemen. And 2 level 4 Imperial Guard Infantry. Some level 2 Yari Ki. And, uh, he's also got some revolvers in the trees there, but it's level 6 general command gen. I've got two Yari Ki, one's level 4, one's level 2 here. And then in this tree line, we have Black Tortoise, Fresh, Royal Marines. Are in here somewhere. Royal Marines level 5, Imperial Infantry Fresh, Red Bear Fresh, Red Bear Fresh, Black Sword of Fresh, and then I've got Fresh Sabers and Fresh Revolvers in this tree line. And my crappy level 3 general. So, what does this guy do? Oh, look! He's camping this tree line with this hill. Why was surprised? Oh, he loses his Yari Key because of my hidden one in here. So, I lose a few men, lose 28 out of 40, and then I'm at 34 out of 40 there. So I lose a few to that. So I put them up there to threaten him, and he just retreats his doses, and he just camps. So I'm running through these trees, because I was going to set up if he decided to push, but since he's not pushing, I'm bringing all my units up. And I decide to encircle him, but I really can't, because I don't know where all of his units are. And he's got really elite units, so they're just going to tear through my crappy tortoises and red bears. With these two sides, though. Meanwhile, I'm leaving the marines and the imperial infantry out here. If he decides to push, we'll have an open fight. And, uh, I can run back to the trees. And then bring these guys back to flank. But he's trying to get my Yari Key away from hiding. He does suss them out with his revolver cavalry. Also medium unit sizes in case he wasn't exploiting enough by sitting in these trees with his general forever. He doesn't like being playing, so at least he's not just sitting in that way, but that's because he has extra units to spare because he can cover himself with his two Imperial Guard, one Imperial Infantry, and his posters. And he put the other Imperial Infantry and his revolvers in here. So I'm moving my lines up, both Red Bears and Fortis on the side, and moving my Yari Key away from there, and my revolvers and my sabers are hidden in here, trying to get a good time to hit his revolvers. And there's his Imperial Infantry, and there's Imperial Guard Infantry, so he's setting up the block. So I move up a little closer, but there's really nothing I can do, because I have to walk into Imperial Guard in trees. And neither of these units, you know, not even combined, can take it. And so there are his revolvers, and uh, he hides them in there so that he can use them later. So I decide to try and capture this away from him by putting the edge of a key in there. And he brings his revolvers out, and I don't micro this right, because I'm on a touchpad. And they get them all. And then I don't judge the toast of distance long enough, and they get routed too. So I have no Yari key. And he just hides his sabers again, and now he's just gonna camp. Camp, camp, camp. Camping, camping, camping. And, and even better, as if it wasn't bad enough, look, stand and fight. Just gonna camp, stand and fight forever. Anyway, I'm trying to make a push, but he's pushing, you know, they're my sabers. I was gonna try to hit his coaches, but he just camped them there, Imperial Infantry. And he's pushing up with three units against my two, and they're elite units against my two pieces of crap. His revolver cav route these units. These, my torches are not even firing Damn back. They got six kills, cards. even though they were lined up to shoot running, the revolver um, in a square so that they wouldn't have to ship as many men back. And then this is retarded right here. Is he manages to route an entire black torch. I turn them around. But nope, still routing from, from melee, field, from revolvers. And I wiped his revolvers out with mine, but I'm pretty upset at this point. 
because he's just camping like a little douche. And then he realizes that he has a huge advantage. I mean, look at the balance of power. He's got more lines than I do, and they're more elite than my lines, with the exception of the Royal Marines. So he's trying to get rid of my revolver cavalry because he doesn't like them. They're the only real threat to him, really. But he's being very slow and very methodical and very campy and making his little box even as he walks. I run my revolvers away. I'm trying to adjust my lines here to best defend against this, but it, there's really no defense here. I mean, I basically lost already. Um, unless I can get a really good shot from the tree. But I don't want to be shooting through the trees, I just want to be shooting from the trees. And I told him right here how many units I had, what units they were, where they all are. And just like, dude, attack, you got way more units and way more power. But he actually decides that he's going to camp, redline camp, right up here. I have no idea why. But yeah, he just sits there. And so I'm like, uh, dude, okay. So I'm walking my unit and get them all back. And so I'm trying to threaten him with my revolvers. I'm also trying to make sure he doesn't leave any units behind anywhere, but putting my revolvers in widespread and then also spreading them really widely. Yeah, what a, what a concept. So we're trying to get him to shoot like one or two, but not the whole unit. And I eventually go through the trees. And then I see he doesn't have anything in there, so I dismount. And he's, he's just camping up here. I have no idea what he's doing up there. And see, he hadn't moved his units over there. It's not like he was walking through to sweep them. And only once I dismount does he come out. And he, he was just sitting there camping. It's like, dude, you have won. Stop camping. So I'm determined to make this last as long as possible to punish this guy. Um, so I run my units back into the trees here. And I got my revolvers hidden here. Remember, he's got two level 4 Imperial Guards, two level 4 Imperial Infantry, level 1 Tosa Rifleman, and a level 6 General, and all of them are full strength, and I've got a full strength Red Bear, Imperial Infantry, both level 0, and a level 5 Royal Marine. And the Dojos are crap, by the way, they're just the Sword Dojo and the Workshop. Anyway, I thought he was going to box this up. Um, I was you know, just go to bed at that point and just say, okay, dude, have fun. See how long you wait. But no, he actually does push. I was kind of impressed. Meanwhile, I have got my marines in range so that they can shoot. But I have fire at will off because I'm waiting for the right moment. I'm also running my revolvers around. Pull this unit away. Okay, I'm going to push. I do open fire with my marines onto him, and I do wrap houses pretty quickly. And then he runs Imperial Guard Infantry and Imperial Guard into my marines. And I've got my Imperial Infantry shooting over. I bring my Red Bears out to get some shots off. He does a really dumb thing and clusters them, so maybe that'll work out for me, but at this point I'm pretty much screwed. Because, I mean, look at this. My, my marines are already almost half dead. When he's getting shots off at my revolvers, he's only killed one. But he has pulled that unit way far away, way too far away. So I tried to rally, but my marines are basically done. And his Imperial Guard are half strength, and, you know, just lost 12 men there. And his Imperial Infantry 25 men. So more than three quarter strength average for each of these. But I do bring my revolvers in trying to come to his general. Doesn't have a gun. Helps me there. Start shooting his Imperial Guard. And he's so preoccupied with my revolvers. I don't know what he's doing. He's turning all the lines to shoot at them. So I'm getting three volleys with these guys. And then I'm also pulling away just in time. Let's hear these guys come. 
I do lose a lot of these guys from that volley. They're down to half rank. They're wavering. Bring, bring my red birds in to shoot over here. But now that's a half strength. That's a half strength. That's a quarter strength. Oh, they're all these are less than half strength now. This is half strength. This is full strength. Imperial infantry and red birds. So I'm I'm microwing my revolvers around again, and I decide I'm gonna charge with my general. Muck them up sir, so that I can get some shots off. Peril, sir. And the charge, they're wavering, they route. These guys, they route as soon as I hit the line. And now, all that's left of these Imperial Guard, and they're wavering, and our generals are about equal in stats here. He's got a slight advantage. I'm getting three shots, but here come my revolvers. Running my red bears up. Finish these guys off. They're at 78. My Imperial Infantry are at 44. Okay, there goes my general. There go my revolvers. These generals wavering at 3. These Imperial Guards at 24. He's running them away. But they're way inside the rage of the red bears. So, he has turned an absolute decisive victory because of his stupidity into an even match now. Except it's not quite even. He's got 98 Imperial Infantry. I've got 44. His are level 4. Mine are level 0. I got my Red Bears. And I'm running my Red Bears around this dojo. Uh, I'm actually walking these guys back. They're hidden. Uh, just to stall for time. You know, keep them away. Keep them from being spotted while I run these guys around to the side. And if he gets a good volley off on my Imperial Infantry, he can just turn and mop up my Red Bear. So, I turn my Imperial Infantry back around. And my Red Bears are now the general unit, and that they are the ones who are seen. And then they get a volley off. And those guys are at 90. But he doesn't want to be playing, and so he runs. He runs and runs and runs, and so I get another volley off. And he's down to 82. And I'm still running up with my red bears. Yeah. I have one red bear fire. So there's another volley off on him from the Imperial Infantry. And here comes another one. Because he does not want to be flanked. He just keeps running him. If he had just charged him, I would, and that's it. He's routed. He's lost. And that's what you get for being a camping douchebag.